The road to the top is a rocky one. What does it take to cut through the noise and launch your career? We asked six up and coming creators from visual, music, and fashion backgrounds to think big and pitch our panel of judges their dream project. These contestants get the unique opportunity to get advice, feedback, and inspiration from experts in their field. This is Elevator Pitch, presented by Sprite. My name is Elon Watson, and I'm a visual artist from Oakland, California. I'm Sage Guillory. I'm a visual artist from Atlanta. I mainly work with mixed media collage, photography, and videography. And then I'm also a skater, so that's what I do on my off time. <laughs> I paint mainly in acrylic, and I draw in ink, and I do murals. My art is like original to me. I guess if I had to categorize it, it would be like surrealism. Surrealism and like contemporary just because it's like modern. Through photography, I started experimenting with collage, but not really with my own work, just like flipping through magazines and then it slowly transformed into um, working with my own photos, collaging those. My dream project would be like an installation where people come like one type of way and leave like changed or like inspired or I just want to leave a lasting impression. My idea is centered around this logo that I made that's a heart made out of two question marks. I wanted to make a space for people to think actively on what love might mean to them or just what love is in their own life. This project that I want to do is it's an art show or an exhibit, but it's, it'll be like underwater, a more immersive experience. What's up guys? Hey. What's up? What's up? My name is Elon Watson. I'm a visual artist from Oakland, California. My primary mediums are mixed media collage, photography, and videography. In a lot of my artwork, I focus on love because I feel like I have an interesting perspective on it. Growing up, my mom was bi, so I was raised by two women, and then also my dad as well. And my dad and I have that in common, his mom's lesbian. So seeing love be so fluid kind of inspired me to experiment with it and understand it through art. Oh, that's beautiful, honestly. Thank you. And so this is my logo that I've created. It's a heart made out of two question marks. And I use it with the intention of creating spaces where people can examine what love means to them and active, like, critically think about it. But also, to me, it means like the confliction of love. So in my hometown, there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad. And I love Oakland. But when the bad stuff happens, it's like, how could I love Oakland? That's the confliction that I'm talking about. So for my main idea, I want to create installations that would go in major cities across the world, and it would be a kissing booth. And so the front of this kissing booth would be a one-sided mirror. So on the outside, you can look in, but when you're inside, you're looking at the mirror. And then on the mirror is going to be a collaged silhouette of a girl leaning in for a kiss. But in each location, I want different silhouettes of different actions of love. And so the whole idea behind this is when you're in there, you're put in a scenario of love because you're looking at yourself in the mirror next to this collage leaning in for a kiss. So only on the inside you can see the collage and the colors and all the in intentionality behind the, the images that I used for the collage. But on the outside, all you see is a black figure. Wow. I would want the kissing booth to be in outdoor spaces, like parks, like Central Park or right by the Eiffel Tower in Paris, you know? Places where people aren't going to see art, but they encounter it in their day-to-day -day life. Because I feel like spaces like galleries and museums and stuff like that can be intimidating to a certain type of person. I definitely have a question for you. Um, for these kissing booths, do you plan to have your audience know exactly where they are? Or is it something interactive where you're having your fans or your audience like search for it and see if you find one? I feel like the promotion behind it would it wouldn't be pushed too much, but I would definitely give the location. Like it wouldn't be like a treasure hunt, but I want the main, main group of people going to it to be people that don't know about it. So basically the person going in there is expecting a kiss from somebody, but then they actually kiss themselves somewhat. Kind of. Right? Yeah. What is like the thing you're trying to accomplish again with the kissing booth? Like why that and not another idea? I think especially now more than ever, Love is something that is in high demand, like people need to feel that. And I want to bring communities together through that. 
and I plan on bringing them together by having them all think about what love means to them and you know by doing so and reflecting on your own self so to speak it might make the community better indiv by changing individuals for sure yeah cool but like what made you start skating uh, my dad's a pro skater really yeah so I kind of grew up in it and then slowly like all my friends were all skaters and then I don't know, it's cool. Like my dad's really young at heart, so all my friends are his friends. We go out to skate together and stuff like oh, that's that. That's dope. Well, I love everything. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for being here and pitching your idea to us. Um, I thought it was great and looking forward to finding out more about it. Thank you guys. I like, well. appreciate coming here. What's up, dude? I'm Sage. I'm an artist from Atlanta. Uh, I do visual art, painting. I'm trying to get more into like conceptual art and like 3D, you know what I'm saying, environments. The show was the exhibition, it's called Burrow. So the overview for the show is the exhibit is gonna be underwater. It's gonna start off, you walk in like a entrance type of tank and it fills with water and then you go through. But there are these helmets called uh, Sea Trek helmets and basically it's like a helmet that goes over your head so you can have like whatever you have on and just walk through and be able to breathe. And there's an obstructive view so you can like look all around and stuff. So basically the show is an analogy of like how I feel and like my creative process. So like being underwater is basically being in that working, thinking type of environment, working things out, problem solving. So all the pieces that you'll see while you're, while you're submerged will be like some finished, some like half finished or whatever. But over the course of the exhibit, the water will recede. So like the tide goes down. So as it goes down, you'll see like um, basically different flotation devices will like allow certain things to drop and certain things to come to light. Once all the water drops out, you'll be able to see like all the completed works. So basically it's like you went through the creative process, the problem solving, the figuring things out type of mode. And then at the end, you get to see, you know, the whole thing. Um, vegetation of being in the environment, um, fish, I want to have a alligator in a tank. Huh? What it would be is you walk in and it's a it's a tank that's a middle tank, and then you have a tank on this side and that side. The pieces are on that wall and like the opposite walls, right? So you have fish and stuff on this tank, so the wildlife can't touch you. But when you're in the tank, it looks like it can. Mm, I was about to say, if you have a real alligator, I don't know if I could ever see this. Like, I'm definitely <laughs> not gonna go down in an alligator tank. As long as you don't go in the wrong <laughs> tank, you're <in> straight. <laughs> It'll be a whole different show. Yeah. I can't swim. Uh -huh. So all this scares me. Mm -hmm. But how deep is the water? Like how deep are you? So thinking? I'm thinking at least 15 feet. What? Yeah, at least 15 feet. Wow. I don't know how to swim either, bro. I Word. Ain't it either. might be a good idea to have, you know, the middle tank be empty and mm -hmm. have your professional divers be the ones that unveil the works within the tanks, within the oh, front cool. tank and the back tank. Yeah. And that, that way you'd have a broader audience as well, people mm -hmm. that would want to come. I, I do like the idea that you said about everything kind of like draining and mm -hmm. then after it's all gone, you actually can see something else. It right. almost has like two phases of, um, you know, how the artwork is being presented. Yeah, know? for sure. That's really dope. Where did the water obsession come from? And why alligators? So water kind of like, to me, like symbolizes like time and like pressure, you know? Yeah. And sure. for alligators, sure. it's just like going in, staying and coming up when you need to. You know what I mean? That's, I have to do that a lot for like, for me to, you know, survive as far as like make artwork and produce and produce like, FOMO, you know, <laughs> missing out on stuff being underwater, you know. Yeah, I've never heard that concept before. That's really dope. Like, appreciate you. Because that's what you do as a creative, right? You yeah. Know? And people don't really understand that. Yeah. Well, thank you. For sure. I appreciate y'all. Thanks. Appreciate man. you. Sure. Thank you, dude. I'm gonna walk this way now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the iPad too. <laughs> Yeah, I think my pitch went pretty good. I think the pitch went good. I feel like I said everything I need to say. The judges were cool, they were nice. Usually when you pitch something, it's like at least one person that's like the bad cop, but it wasn't the case here, so that was cool. I hit all the points that I wanted to hit. Seemed like the judges took it well, so now it's just wait and see. Whatever happens, I'm just happy that I got to come through this. 
thought both pitches were extremely well done. It was refreshing to see people actually creating things that you can experience in real life. I actually like them, both of them. They were so unique. Elon's pitch, he used something so traditional as like a kissing booth and tried to like modernize that. Yeah, I like Elon's pitch a lot. I like his whole personality. I definitely think he can work on what he's trying to portray to his audience. It's easy for someone to just see a kissing booth somewhere, you know, in Central Park or somewhere and get confused by what that is or what the concept is and why it's there. Uh, why it was cool is mainly because it was a reflection of yourself. It wasn't really about um, engaging with someone else, it's more about how do you feel. And I thought that was like really engaging and it's something I would want to go to. Sage's fish was actually my fave from today. I really loved all the different elements that were so true to him, like the alligator, the underwater. I love how those played so deeply into his concept and his activation. I like Sage's pitch a lot. It kind of expanded my mind. I never really saw anyone do like an underwater exhibit. Sage's pitch was really cool. Um, I thought that anything involving water always has so many layers. It sounds expensive, so hopefully he can find a way to bring you know funds into the project itself and hopefully get all the things that he needs to, to make the idea come to life. What Sage can work on is making it more user-friendly, because I personally don't know how to swim, and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of other people out there that don't know how to swim. When you tell someone they're gonna go underwater with an alligator, it's kind of going to scare a lot of people away. So the big question of the day, of the two, who do you think should be profiled by pigeons and planes? This is a tough decision. I thought they were both great. I definitely feel that Sage's pitch really stood out. And I feel like anybody that interacted in that act activation or was a part of that would walk away and never forget that experience. I feel like Elon should be profiled. Um, I like his idea. I like the kissing booth idea. I don't know. It just makes for a better story. I think if I had to choose, I don't want to, but if I had to, I'd pick Sages. Mainly just because like I've never seen anything like that before. Um, what he what he was interpreting seemed quite unique and original and that's something that immediately caught my attention. 